Partners, over the years, the U.S. Navy has used the names of famous people, cities, and even famous places and battles for the names of Navy ships. But during the entire long history of the Navy, there has never been more than one ship in the fleet with the same name as any other ship. Now keep that in mind as I tell you the story of a magic naval name. This is the story about a man who was so important to the Navy that over the years five different ships have been named for him. His name was Jeremiah O'Brien. O'Brien was born in Maine in 1744 to a middle class family in the lumber business. He had five brothers. They were all, as they like to say, feisty Irishmen. <laughs> One night, Jeremiah and his brothers were sitting in a local pub having a drink and doing some singing. Suddenly a messenger burst in with dramatic news. The messenger shouted, The British have taken over an American ship loaded with lumber and are taking it back to England. Jeremiah looked around at his brothers. None of them spoke, but they all knew what Jeremiah had in mind. <laughs> so, Jimmy, what were Jeremiah and his brothers thinking of doing? And, yeah, oh yes, well, I'm glad you asked that anyway. Well, they ran out, gathered some friends, stole a boat, and went after the American ship loaded with lumber. Partners, get this, they captured the vessel and took it back to port. Friends, the point here is that Jeremiah O'Brien and his friends staged the first successful raid on a British-run ship before the creation of the American Navy. That's why five ships have been named for him. They include a torpedo boat and four destroyers. Jimmy, I'd love to see one of those. Well, you can. The Liberty ship, as Jeremiah O'Brien, built in 1943 to ferry goods and troops during World War II, still floats in San Francisco Bay. By the way, when the Jeremiah O'Brien was for, for finally discovered and salvaged, one other ship also was located, but the O'Brien was able to be quickly repaired and partners, it sailed from dry dock to San Francisco Harbor under its own steam. Millions have seen it every year. The Jeremiah O'Brien is a living museum to the best we've had to offer in World War II. By the way, the O'Brien is a Hollywood star. Film footage of the ship's edges was used to depict those of the doomed ocean liner Titanic in the 1997 film of the same name. So the next time you hear anyone mention the name of American patriot Jeremiah O'Brien, you will know, as Paul Harvey used to say, the rest of the story. What a great story about a great patriot who took things into his own hands and in many ways invented the American Navy. Okay, partners, you know the red drill. Click that big red X up there, and you'll be whipped back to the report page. I love you guys. Go get them, tigers!